Hi everyone and welcome back. Before going to the advanced testing topics or more complex examples, I just want to talk about some couple of more aspects about testing, how we are testing the pipes, how we are testing the controller services, or maybe auth card, interceptors and all those things. Okay. So here this is a simple examples and I, I will be mostly doing a code walkthrough before because it doesn't have an integration with the database. It is just giving us the data through the mock. It's like a cat controller and there is a cat service which is just playing with this uh, simple array. I mean these cat examples you might see on the Nest.js portal also. Lots of cat uh, or I mean Nest.js logo itself is a cat. Okay so this is a simple service. Update cat, delete cat or add cat and it's playing with this just a simple array. We have the array of cats. Get all this dot cats. Uh, find by id we will just do the array dot find add cat we will just do a push delete cat we are just removing that index and setting the new cat you on this object this dot cat equal to filter and remove that cat index first find the cat index update cat just update couple of properties in the cat and then set the cat index simple so this is the cat service now what we are doing in this whole example i created the interceptor and pipe and the guard just to showcase how the real testing works so if you go to the controller first what all things you see here you might be wondering that we are writing only the test for controller services but we have lots of building blocks in the nest CS. like you can create a guard you can create interceptor you can create a pipes and interceptors pipes all these are actually building blocks i mean later you will be creating the auth guard and local strategies all those things but mainly what what else we create we create a auth guard we create interceptors we create pipes these are the the basic things which additionally you will sometimes create and here you can see when you are calling this controller cat method right because you have added this interceptor on the top and the guard on top we also need to deal with this okay so let's take a look how it is all happening i mean we have already tested this worked on this that how we can write a simple test for controller you can just simply mock the service version get service and you can define your own version of get all get by id add cat delete cat and update cat and then you can just call the methods and just check okay whatever the result mock result you put is coming from the uh, after calling the method or not i mean just uh, first spy on then just call the actual method and then do the assertions so here testing the controller is kind of simple if you see testing module create testing module we have controller and inside of providers i'm going to provide a mock implementation of cat service this is the cat service and it has all these methods get all can I minimize them? So these are different methods get all, get by id, add cat, update cat, delete cat. And we are going to provide their mock implementation. So how we can do that? Jest.fn.mock return value. What it is saying is a, using this method jest.function.mock return value, you are saying this whenever if you start using the instance of this cat service. And you call the get by id then i'm going to return you this object as a mock because unit testing is all about mocking it is going to return you the true it is going to return you a simple object updated cat and we are playing with an array so we don't need to really mock the repository type orm or uh, entity repository we are just playing with array so we can just create an array and play with that so this is our cat controller cat controller spec is kind of simple if if i just walk you through what we are doing here it's kind of simple first we are cat controller defined then we got all the cats get all cats so get all cats should be an object cat.id should be one name should be this to be this why i'm saying this because here i didn't do any mocking because get all cats here when you are calling get all cats in this uh, where is that get all cats what it is doing is get, it is calling get all method and we have already mocked the get all method and saying that when you are calling get all i'm going to give you these two cats first is this id cat name breed you just need to play with that right you can just 
length is 2 even you can just write more assertions okay id should be here id is 2 test kit 2 test kit 1 test kit 2 so this is the array of 2 right red kit 0 1 id should be 2 and one name test kit 2 we are already asserting that I'm just checking with the ID, name ID, and then we can assert the name of 0th index also. This is test kit 1. Okay, because I already marked it and I can play with the data. Get cat by ID. Here you are passing get cat by ID and you are passing ID 1. Now, get cat by ID, when you are calling this, you are calling get by ID, and we have marked it get by ID. And we are returning this object so you know id is one then the name will be test cat one breed will be test breed one here we just asserting the same object okay name should be test cat one create new cat uh, you can pass the object and when you are calling create new cat it's uh, create new cat it is calling add cat and what add cat is returning for you you can just check that method here it is returning this thing mock return value yes and we are comparing the same thing so testing of controller and services is all about how we are mocking so this is a controller now you can keep writing the tests whatever in what number you get satisfied you should be good with that now if i write service if you see get service is simple get by id it's just doing a find and returning if not found you can say bad request exception or not found exception, right? Add cat, just add the new cat in the cat area and return it. Delete cat. So if I just look into the service methods, here we are creating testing module and this is the cat service. Why? Now think about it. I'm not doing any mock implementation here. Why? Because cat service is already a plain JavaScript. Right? If I just start playing with the cat service, it's all JavaScript. I don't need to provide a mock implementation because it's not representing any repository type ORM repository where I need to mock it. If you see cat services, I know I can assert these things. Okay, this is the initial cat. I can just insert cat, delete cat, update cat, get all cat, and I know the result set. So you can do the mock testing when you already know what that method is going to return. And then you assert it that after calling that method, this is the actual output and both are same. So we already know that what initial version of cat array is. So here get all. I already know the length is three and the cat zero is something like this, right? Get by ID. When you are trying to do get by ID two, I know it will give me the ID two and name is Terra, right? Here, if you try to get the ID, this is important. I mean, these are how it works expect service dot get by id obviously it will throw an error to throw an error because no cat uh, it will throw a bad request exception when you are doing add cat the new cat will get added delete cat it will return true false right so expect service to delete cat too this is valid and this is invalid because there is no such id so it will uh, return the negation of it so this is how you can write the test cases of the cat service and we are not doing mocking here. Another important thing we are doing here is we are not using validation pipe. So that means I'm trying to do validate uh, of the payload attributes using some uh, built in pipe. So I wrote a custom pipe cat pipe and we are validating it only for create because when you hit a create API, we are passing some cat attribute and I want to validate the payload is uh, okay or not. There are two ways of doing it. Either you can define a cat DTO with the class validators. This is the cat DTO, but one thing is you, you could have used class validator and here you could have defined like a in string is defined. All these things you could have used if you want to use validation pipe, then validation will be taken care by Nest.js because you are using built-in validation. Here what we are doing, is we are using 
simple pipe what cat pipe is doing if you see i mean you can build your own pipe cat pipe is just implementing pipe transform and in this transform method it is just validating the types okay the breed i mean there may be a different possibilities if age is not a number age is as a string name is just a number all those permutation combinations are there and it is throwing bad request exception whenever you see any error coming from a pipe it converts into a uh, bad request exception i mean we are explicitly throwing it because it's a custom implementation but if you are doing with a class validator it also returns the bad request exception and we are just using it here and how i'm using it if you see i mean i there is no validation here because it's a get call get by id there is no validation here we are doing parse int so this is the param parse int pipe i'm using explicitly so what this parse int pipe does so parse int pipe pipe transform in the transform we are checking if the value is should be a number okay if value is a string or not a number then obviously we are going to throw an bad request exception that it's a number and the same thing we are adding here so i mean this is just a nest geos view of doing things you can pass a pipe i mean there are two ways of implementing this passing a parameter okay or using a particular custom pipe so to avoid any confusion i will try to do it in both different ways so i will do pnpm and i think there is a class transformer if i added these things correctly and then i can create this dto i mean this is how i also generally do and here inside dto i can just write export class and here we are passing just an id id string and here we can define all these uh, properties like api property that's a swagger thing but here we can do is is defined i need to fix the class validator import then i should be able to use it so this way we can add uh, validations i need to import it explicitly i don't know why it was not showing it's a vs code error whenever you add a package runtime it doesn't show up right away is defined is string you can also add that is defined is string that means it should be a string it should be defined so these kind of validations i can do and i can convert this cat param dto so here i'm passing cat param dto update import but for this because now it's an object right so i can just i have to use param dot id okay an id is a string why it's complaining id is a number okay now there is another important aspect of uh, nest js is whatever the query parameter it passes right it's always passed as a string because you are using apis in apis query parameter is always passed as a string so you can uh, you can actually transform it here the string to a number so this is how we generally do it what we do is we globally add i mean uh, controller at controller level i'm adding a use pipe new validation pipe and rest i use these dtos like for here query parameter cat param dto i'm using is defined type should be a number it's transforming that into a number for me directly so we don't need to use is number but the types is number and here we can use a class validator and transformer utilities to help us in doing that so if you are passing number string then it will complain similarly here you can pass a dto is create cat dto right and yet then you can define okay what all attributes you want in the create payload so here in the controller i am creating cat pipe uh, which contains what all attributes name breed edge okay all our string so this we can copy and we can add our own validations on this so here validations can be a simple validation like is defined or is string okay a 
and for number we will be using the same we will transform it this is age okay so we have written a create cat dto so this is just another way of uh, doing the same thing here we don't need to pass the pipe create cat dto and we already added a global validation pipe so there are two ways of doing it either you write your own custom pipe or or the payload validation rely on the class validator and declare a use pipe on top of that so your validations will be handled in that way but what happens is i don't want to do this i can write my own custom pipes so this will be done like this then so here i'm explicitly using parsint pipe and the cat pipe okay i can write my own validator i'm not using any global pipes and i can just validate and here this cat pipe we can also write the test cases for the cat pipe here you can see i have written this cat pipe it should be defined and here i can call the transform method of the pipe so here what you are doing it's a simple class you don't need to create a testing module for testing the pipe you just create a cat pipe and then you can just do pipe is defined and then pipe dot transform you just need to call the transform method rest will be handled by the nest js and what we are doing in the transform it's a simple class method right to validate your logic is correct or not this logic if you are validating the age name and breed correctly then it is fine otherwise you will be expecting the exception messages and then you can assert them okay incoming cat is not formatted correctly uh, error pipe to throw an error right to throw an error pipe dot transform you just need to do this needs to be a function if you want to handle the error if you want to catch the error so in the expect block we need to write this error function completely pipe dot transform now what we are doing is simply passing an object with the sometimes with the age wrong formatted with sometimes the name and the breed as a number and it is doing the validations and this is how you can validate your custom pipe which you have created and we are not doing create test testing module simply creating a cat object dto object and it's not even class it's just an object plain javascript object and we are passing it in the transform method okay so this is how you can run the tests for your uh, validation pipes e even we have a parsint pipe somewhere yes so parsint pipe i call the object because it's a class it has a transform method and i'm just asserting or testing the transform method by passing the random values to be a random number to throw an exception here i have again arrow function to throw an error simple so here all my tests are passing which are just a controller and services and it's just a code walk through next video we are going to make some complex test cases let's say we will write a simple auth service where we have a auth guard auth strategies we have to mock the jwt service we have to mock the user service auth service and that combinations will make our test cases more stronger we are still talking about all unit test cases that's it let's meet in the next video